Hi right, everyone, I'm Dan Alvarez, joined with Tom and Assey back here for a second game of our doubleheader. The Cincinnati State Lady Surge won over Wayne. It uh, was pretty impressive in the first half. Second half, it uh, got a little hairy there. They didn't play as well as we thought they would, but uh, nonetheless, they come out with a victory, and the men come in with a record of 4-2. and two. I didn't get to catch the record of uh, Wayne. They're 1-1. One and one. So they're 1-1, one and, one and uh, another tough opponent here for Cincinnati State. Yeah, Cincinnati State, you know, they've, they've played some – some good competition. Their two losses are against a number five nationally ranked Danville team. They lost by four. And their most recent loss was at Moraine Valley last week. And they lost by one. And Moraine Valley is number 10 nationally. So they've played against some very good teams. Uh, teams that, you know what, if, if you lose, it's no big deal. But it's better than winning by 40 or 50. And, and I think that's what Coach Tate always looks for. He wants to play the best teams he can play wherever they want to play. He doesn't care about the wins and losses so much as the fact that he knows when the league starts, he's played better teams than anybody else in the league. Absolutely. So Cincinnati, as you said, had a couple of tough games. They're four and two. They always try to prep themselves for league play, and they've got uh, some tough games coming up as well. But um, So we'll see what Cincinnati will be able to do. And we know that one person – in particular, that will not be playing tonight will be uh, Cody Martin, who we thought we saw he had crutches with him, and he is dressed in street clothes, so he will not play tonight. Yeah, the, the impressive thing about this year's Cincinnati State team is they come in, although it's early in the year, they, they're they coming in with six players averaging double figures, led by Dwayne Bazemore, the big man, at 13-8 a game. And uh, that's impressive when you have six guys over 10 points. That means that the ball's getting distributed pretty well. And uh, it means that you have a deep bench, which I know Coach is fired up about. Absolutely. So uh, Rondell was just telling us that uh, Sean Kilpatrick is in the house here, sitting over here in the stands. Is he coming here? He's he here. wants to listen yeah, to it, he's he? uh, checking us out. He's uh, right. sitting over there in the stands. Good. So Sean Kilpatrick checking out the old uh, Sensei State surge. So that's always, always good to see. So they're introducing the starting lineups here for both teams and Unfortunately, I did not catch the starters for Wayne, and we'll do the best we can giving them to you when they take their shirts off. We know number 14 is starting because his jersey's off, and that is Parker. Parker's a starter, and then we also got number 34 is starting, and that will be uh, Whitehead. And Cincinnati, they're introducing the lineups for now for Cincinnati. And But, uh, you know, I saw the, the Owens coach, the, the women's basketball coach, and Tom, he's very impressed with uh, – the gym, the lighting, the hoops, everything. He just said, man, it's very impressive. Yeah, like you said, I mean, we haven't gone to, to road games over the last five or six years, but I guarantee you that this gym is will rival, I, I guarantee anybody in their league, let alone further out than that. It, it's a very nice little setup they have going here, and, uh, you know, you got to come out and see them. It's, it's good basketball, and... They take it seriously, no question about it. Absolutely. So Cincinnati uh, going to be in their all-white uniforms as they're introducing the starting lives, and you see it there. And you see the Lady uh, Surge uh, cheerleaders too as well. And, uh, you know, Dwayne Baysmore is one of the returning players that they had from last year. And the game we saw, I believe he was on fire. I believe he had 12 of the first I don't know how many points. And uh, we'll see. And just the only un unfortunate thing with Dwayne is that He'll go through those things where he is so dominating and then he'll just go in his law where he just does some silly things and we'll see if he'll be able to continue to, to, to play as hard as he's been playing. That's the big thing. And this year's team, they've got four or five legitimate three-point shooters, which the last year's team did not have. And they got the depth at the guard position. So the big thing is, can they get consistent play out of Dwayne Baysmore? That is, that is the big thing right now. If he can keep it consistent, he doesn't have to score 20 a game. If he can consistently show up and put decent numbers up every night, they're going to be a tough team to beat. Oh, absolutely. There's no question about that. So we're trying to get some more of your starters. I believe the starters are going to be Price, Duncan, Fields, Parker, and Whitehead for Wayne. For Cincinnati, we got uh, Dwayne Baysmore. We got number 15, Devontae Smith, number three, Thomas Jackson. It looks like uh, the tip is going to be won by Cincinnati, and Devontae Smith is the one that's going to come up with it, and he's going to give it to Thomas Jackson. It's going to be man-to-man -man for Wayne. Dan, Jackson. I have no idea who number 30 is. 
Here you go. I'll help you out right now. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop it. Grays. Okay. No, wait a minute. Yeah, grays will be 30 and white. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. So 2 nothing Cincinnati up here early. Who made that, do you know? I had no <laughs> clue. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure that one out when we get the halftime sheet. So coming down is going to be number five, and that is Fields for Wayne. And he's going to go in. As Cincinnati's trying to do a double team, and they're going to call a – what are they going to call this? They call. Oh. They didn't call a foul. He stepped on a line. Oh, I guess. I guess he must have stepped out on the sideline yeah, he here. he stepped out on the sideline, so <laughs> the ball's going to be I, – I was going to say if they're calling a foul, I didn't see it. So Thomas Jackson has the ball on the wing. He's going to try to get a screen. Going to fight through it, gives it up high now. Swing it around to Smith. Smith's going to fire up a shot off the side of the rim. No good. Rebounded by number 34, Whitehead. And Whitehead gives it up. And driving to the basket is number three, and that's Price. Nice and shot. Does a little nice shot, puts it up and in, and they're up. Or they tie the score up here at two. Yeah, nice little floater right there by Price over Dwayne Baysmore. So Cincinnati, and I don't know if we've really seen Thomas Jackson come uh, – Accustomed to going off like he usually is, Tom. He's still, I think, in his – and he had an injury, I believe, earlier in the season. Well, I think he's got a lot more support in the backcourt now. And Devontae Smith drives to the basket. His shot was no good. Quickly coming down the other way, it's going to be Duncan. Duncan's going to drive, kick it down in the corner to Price in between the circle. So it's a shot, no good. And it is going to be fought for and rebounded by Whitehead. Coach ain't going to like that. I'm not sure why Baysmore didn't get that rebound. Well, yeah, the ball now is going to be Fields. Gives it over to Duncan, and shot at the elbow is no good. And going over the back, they didn't call. Not it funny how these refs are letting him play over here. <laughs> Quickly coming down as Thomas Jackson nice. gets it into Baysmore. Strong. Baysmore puts it up and goes and one. in. Good job by Baysmore. And the foul is going to be on number 14, and that will be on Parker. That will be his first. And that's exactly what you want to see out of 34 right there is a little bit of toughness. He's got to get that little tough streak in him, and that he can dominate inside. The only thing that he maybe is maybe not put the ball on the floor. He should have caught it, turned, put it, it up. That was the right. only thing that maybe you could say that he did that he probably shouldn't have. So Baysmore to complete the three-point play is good. So he bears the free throw. That's going to make it 5-2 to two Cincinnati with 18 in his half, and it's going to be Fields. Gives it up now to Duncan, or excuse me, to get it down in low to 14. To, wow, he gets fouled was Parker. As he pump faked, they went flying up in the air. Foul's going to be on Grace. And Winston Gray, I believe, is uh, we got Winston Gray, 10.7 a game. You got Devontae Smith, 11 3. <coughs> O'Brien Hobbs, 12 2. Thomas Jackson, 11 8. And wow. Co Cody Martin, 10 5. And one of those guys, as we said, Cody Martin not playing because of injuries. So first free throw is good. It's going to make it 5-3. to three. And next free throw is put up and in. So it's 5-4, to 17-59 to go. Dan Albers, Tom Benassi, and Rondo McMillan here at Sensei State on Anderson Community Television, USBN Sports. Thomas Jackson now has the ball in between his legs. Swings it over now to Grays. Grays has it on the wing. Looks inside of Baysmore. Nice Baysmore gets down low. Oh, Good look right Thomas there, Jackson, man. and he gets his shot rejected, but he's going to call a foul on number four. Great look by the big man, Baysmore, right there. Thomas Jackson snuck in the back door and uh, picked up another foul on, uh, on Wayne. And Jackson's going to put in his free throw. Jackson will be on the line. Next free throw is no good. It's going to be rebounded by number 14, and that's Parker. Quickly coming down the other way is going to be F Duncan. Gives it up now to number three, and that's Price. Give it down low. Shot was blocked. All was right. uh, number 14, Parker, was going down. He got a shot blocked. Coming down the way is going to be Grays, and he's going to be fouled. Oh, they're going to call a jump ball. And possession is going to go over to Wayne. Dan Thomas Jackson, a little stat for you. Came into the game 19 for 19 from the free throw line. Wow. Made the first one. Pretty impressive. 20 for 20, and then he missed. That's a, that's a good stat there, Tommy. Thank you. 
So Fields going to give it up to Duncan. Duncan quickly ah, gets it down. No one was happen? there, and he laid it up and in. And Parker was wide open down at the other end, and that's going to make it a 6-6 six six ball game. Can't let that happen. And Tom Circles jumps off, Good gives block. it up to Devontae Smith. Up under. Oh. Good. <laughs> nice move by Devontae Smith. And stolen by Thomas Jackson. He's going to give it up now. He's going to get fouled going to the basket. Is number 21, Kevin Marshall. But great steal by Thomas Jackson. Number five, Tevin Fields, the foul for Wayne. And Thomas Jackson with a nice steal. But what a nice acrobatic shot by Devontae Smith. And free throw is no good. Checking in the ball game will be number 23, and that's Folks checking in. Coming out will be number 14, Parker. And free throw is good by Marshall. Nine to six, Cincinnati. Since they put on a lot of oh, pressure and almost oh, had foul. it stolen, and now they're going to call a foul. And I believe that's going to be on number 15. And that'll be on Devontae Smith. Man, ball was just hanging up in the air right there. Thought for sure he was going to get a steal. So Wayne, I thought he was getting in his face to start <laughs> something. I, I really thought they were going to start a fight. Over and back. Yep, over Bad and back. play. That's the guy throwing the ball in. That's his fault right there. You got to think when you're throwing that ball in, you can't put the guy in a bad position like that. He had nowhere to go but cross over the line. So 9 to 6, 16.55 to go here in this first half. Dan Albers, Tom Benassi, Rondell McMillan here at Cincinnati State. And as you can see, a beautiful. That's a foul. A beautiful <laughs> arena now. And Devontae Smith shot from the baseline is good. He's got some four points here early. Are they going to call? I don't know. Time, time out. out. Wow. So they're going to call a timeout here. Cincinnati State up here, 11 to 6. I don't know if they were ready for that press, Tom. Maybe that's why they called that timeout. Yeah, that's a, that's a quick one, quick 20-second timeout right now. Devontae Smith, two out of four from the field, so he's not afraid to put it up, that's for sure. And uh, good, good early start by the surge, and we know that once he starts subbing, he can bring guards in all night long. <laughs> Absolutely. With Cincinnati up here, 11 to six. Again, we will be back here on Monday night just with the men only, and the women we will not see until January the 8th. Again, Wayne will be in the all blue, Cincinnati in the all white. Taking the ball out of bounds, they get it into Fields. Fields will be bringing the ball up the court since they're gonna put on a little bit of a trap here. I'm gonna give it up now to Duncan. Duncan has, it's gonna drive baseline. Duncan try to get it inside. Nice Devontae save. Smith with a save and a steal. And Dwayne bazemore has got it. Now he's going to give it back now to Thomas Jackson. Jackson at the top of the key, crosses over, comes back now. Looking inside, he had Bazemore, but nothing there. He's going to have to get out of that lane. Thomas Jackson has a 20 on the shot clock. Drives all the way to the basket. He gets oh, a shot nice rejected block. by number 23. And that was on Falks. So we got some substitutions checking in. It'll be number 10, Ware, and also number 24, and that'll be Jackson. Well, that's a real nice block right there. Danny kept his body away from Thomas Jackson, so there was no contact at all. It's like uh, Nick Robertson's going to check in for Cincinnati. Uh, Wayne no. throws a bad no. pass. It's going to be stolen by Cincinnati and shot up no good by number 10, and that was Ivory. But coming down now is Thomas Jackson. Shaking and Bacon's going to drive all the way in the basket, kicks it in the corner. Ivory fakes again. Gives it back now to Jackson, fakes the three-pointer, drives in. Nice pass inside yeah, of Robertson up, up and in. That was a great job by Thomas Jackson. 13-6 is our score. Cincinnati up, bringing it all the way down court. is going to be Jackson. Going to take it all the way down. He's going to get fouled. They're going to call a blocking call. And that might be two on Devontae Smith. Yeah. Yep, 15. That'll be his second. So two early on number 15, Devontae Smith. And uh, you're going to have uh, Qual Jackson go to the line for Wayne. Jackson's free throw's good.
13 to 7, 15 35. Yeah, the key, one of the keys in this game, Dan, is to see if the, the Wayne guards can stick with the depth of Cincinnati State's guards or will they get tired and start turning the ball over? Free throw on the way. Good. It's going to make it now 13 to 8. Looks like uh, Smith is going to have to definitely come out of the game with uh, two fouls. He's probably going to have to sit for a little bit. Bring up the ball is Thomas Jackson. Jackson's going to take nice a nice walk. pass inside of Baysmore. Woo. He's going to slam it home. I'm telling you what, <laughs> Thomas Jackson, that was very impressive. That was all him. And there's going to be a blocking foul on number 10 for Cincinnati. And that's going to be on Ivory. That'll be his first. And I'll tell you what, though, Dan, one of the differences between Dwayne Baysmore of this year and last year, he Thomas. doesn't go to the basket on that. Yeah, He's still right. standing out there yeah. getting the ball and taking a six-foot jump shot instead of getting a yep. layup. Absolutely. 15-8. 15-19 to get the ball inside now to number five, and that's Fields. Fields tries to go in between double team, and he walked, no Don't call. Spin in a double dribble. Double dribble. Who knocked the and ball? And he walked again. Walked again. Yeah. Now he walked again. There was another <laughs> walk. So there was a bunch of walks and no calls. Goodness. And Ivy's going to give it to Baysmore. Nice pass down to Gray. Gray's going to pull up, throw up a jump shot, no good. Nick. And running it down is going to be Nick Robertson. Robertson crosses over to Jackson. Jackson looking inside of Baysmore. He does. Nice he gets walk. it down low. Oh. Goaltending. Yeah. And Robertson had it. Should have been a goaltending. No call. Wow. Coming down the other. That was a great job by Baysmore, though. Get the ball inside now. That's and they're going to be lost. No <laughs> call again. Wow. I'll tell you what. It's a tale of two games, Tommy. Nick Robertson just hacked number 23 big time and did not get called for a foul. So we're going to bring it back out. 15-8, 14-26 to go here in this first half. Jackson has the basketball for Cincinnati. Comes off a double screen, goes off to his left. Jackson gives it over to Gray. Grays has it at the top of the key. Gives it into Baysmore. Baysmore powers his way up, and he ah, might have walked with the basketball. That's the old Baysmore that you used to see before, Tommy. That's that toughness factor. Take it up. Don't worry about getting your shot blocked. Take it at him. Shot clock's going to go to five seconds. Checking in, back in will be Kevin Marshall. Bazemore is going to come out. Yeah, he's got to take that ball up strong. You can't worry about whether or not that guy's going to block your shot when you're that big. You just take it at him. And, and you know what, if he can block it, that's great. But chances are he's going to foul you most of the time. 15-8, 14-04. They're going to give it up now to, uh, uh, excuse me, of Ivory. It's going to have to fire up a shot. No good. They didn't realize what the shot clock was. Tom, you know who the other guy is that's on the bench? Is O'Brien Hobbs, I think. Sitting on the bench. He's in dress. Remember? Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, think he's, he's playing he's as well. He's one of them that's, uh, he came in averaging, what, 12, I think? Yeah, 12.2, O'Brien Hobbs. So he is, uh, he is not playing tonight. Bringing the ball up the court to beware for Monroe. And he's going to cross, barely cross the timeline. Gets it to Price. Price going to drive in. Full shot blocked and tipped up and around. And it's going to be Winston Gray's with it now. Gray's going to take it all the way down, gives it back now to Robinson. Robinson throws up, bounce shot up yeah, and in. Baby. Got very lucky on that one. Could have been a walk call, but an off-balance shot. He puts it up and in, 17-8, 13-33. Then they're going to trap as they get across half court, and it's going to be stolen by Gray's. Yes. Gray's going to come across half court. He's going to take it all the way down the middle, gives it up. It's going to be a charge. Yeah. So you don't want to see that. And that's going to be Gray's. That's going to be his second. Yeah, so you got Devontae Smith and Winston Gray's each with two fouls early on in this game, both starters. So some guys are going to have to pick up some minutes here and pick up the, the play. Those guys aren't going to be able to play the rest of this half. And that's Marson that's going to check in for Cincinnati. And I take so, that back. He did. Oh, oh nice get deal. Get knocked away and stolen. Lays it up and in by number two, Lionel Hill. So 19 to eight, I'm gonna put the ball down in the corner. And number 10 gets out of it, and that's where. Quickly coming down the other side is gonna be number four, Duncan. Duncan gives it back over to Ware, swing it around. And throw a bad pass, I don't know well, where he was throwing it. Well, that. 34 didn't break to the basket. Oh, and going block. up, and there's gonna be yeah. a block call, but taking it all the way into the basket was number 10, Jamel Ivory. But as he was going, it. 10 blue, and that's going to be on where? Yeah, the problem down here, Dan, was uh, 
Qual Jackson made the pass thinking that Terrence Whitehead was going to break to the basket, and he did, and he just stood at the free throw line. What do we got going on here? He shot a free throw. It was good, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. I here. think I think uh, the guy for Wayne was down below oh, talking okay. to the coach when he shot it. Below the, free the line. Away. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't come Oops. even close to that one. Okay. Checking I think we'll take the first one, won't we? <laughs> no, absolutely. Checking in the ball game will be number 24, Jackson. No, excuse me. He was just over here talking to the coach. Ivory back on the line. Free throws. Good. Puts it in. 20-8. to eight. Quickly break the press. Does Wayne get it down in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Is on us off the side. No good. Nice rebound. Nice rebound. Puts <laughs> almost up and in. That was a great job by Wayne. I believe that rebound was by number 24, and that was Jackson. Foul's going to be on number two, and that's going to be on Hill. That's two for him? Or no, on yeah, Ivory. I'm on sorry. Ivory. That's his two for him. So three players now for Cincinnati State with two fouls apiece. And free throw's good. Qual Jackson, three points all from the line. He's taking his time, isn't he? Absolutely Woo. taking his time. <laughs> They're counting. And Jackson, free throws off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Graves for Cincinnati. Quickly coming down the left side. Get it to Ivory. Ivory has it, he does have two fouls. Man to man for Wayne. And Gray's gonna drive into the basket, kicks it out. Ivory's gonna fire up a three point shot, no good. It's gonna go over the backboard, so. It's going to go back to Monroe. Checking back into the ball game will be number three, Thomas Jackson. He's really going to, him and Bazemore are the ones that are really going to have to take over this game, Tom. Well, Thomas Jackson just puts your defense in in uh, help position almost every time because he can get around whoever's guarding him, and that's why he gets those nice little touch passes because everybody's coming to help out on him. Quickly coming down the way is going to be Jackson. And they give it up to Duncan. Duncan crosses the timeline. Cincinnati trying to do that trap. Get it into Jackson. He's going to drive all the way down. Kicks it down low to number 14, Parker. Shot is no good. Tipped up and around. And controlled by number 34, and that's Whitehead. And a fresh shot clock on. We're getting ready to go under 12 minutes. Give it to Whitehead at the, at the free throw line. Give it back now to Ware. Swings it back to Jackson. Jackson is going to bring it out. 19 nice It's going to be stealing <laughs> by Gray's. Gray's going to take it all the way up. And oh, no. Oh, man. It. He got hit when goodness, he was going up. Goodness, but goodness. no good. He misses a layup, and that would have been huge. It looks like he might be either hurt or bleeding, Tom. As Gray, they're doing the trap again. And Ware's going to have it down on the side for Monroe. Jump stop at the elbow. Gets it back now to Parker. Parker back. To where they get it to Whitehead. Whitehead fires up a shot. Really, an yeah, inability shot, no good. I don't think that's the shot they wanted. And Thomas Jackson's going to bring it down all the way. Kicks it out to Graves. Graves ready to fire up a three-point shot. Good. All right. I'll tell you what, it looks like he's one of those guys that can catch and shoot, Tom. Yeah. Yeah, and another assist by Thomas Jackson. He just flat out knows how to find people. So 23-9 is our score. 11-13 to go. In his first half, Dan Alvarez, Tom Panassi, and Rondell McMillan here on Anderson Community Television and USBN Sports. Spreading the wealth around for Cincinnati State. Leading the way right now, I believe, is Devontae Smith with four, Nick Robertson with four, Dwayne Bazemore with five. So they, they're kind of spreading it around. Playing a couple players short tonight without Hobbs and uh, Cody Martin. I don't know if... Uh, uh, Marsden hasn't been in either. Uh, maybe yeah, he, he got in for just a little oh, bit. Okay. Yeah, he was in just for a little bit. And we'll see if that's going to make a big difference with them here down the stretch because, you know, it was one thing that we noticed is they had a bench that can go a lot of guys deep. Twenty-three to nine. Again, we'll be back here again on uh, Monday night, Cincinnati State. 
And they are taking on who again? ABCD Prep. A, B, and only a fortunate thing for us, we've had bad experience with that one time. I don't think they showed up when we got here. Wasn't that last year? Oh, was that them? I think it was. They didn't show up. It was either them or school crap, but I think it was ABCD. Yeah, it probably wasn't school crap because they're from, I think they're from pretty far, aren't they? Yeah. Aren't they Chicago maybe? Taking them out of bounds will be Wayne. Get the ball to Duncan, but he's going to be fouled, and I believe that's going to be on number two, and that's Hill. That'll be his first. One and one. Isn't it amazing how quickly this game has gone <laughs> compared to the women's game? <laughs> yeah, it took a while to get to the 10-minute mark in the first half of the women's game. Number four, Sean Duncan for Wayne will step to the line. So far, Wayne is five out of six from the free throw line. Free throw's good. And this is just kind of the opposite. Since I state, you know, Wayne seems like they're playing pretty decently and doesn't feel like they're down 23 to 13. Yeah, so I agree. I don't good. know if it's just because it's so early maybe. I don't know. But. Yeah. Getting ready to go under 11 minutes to go here. Cincinnati up at 23 to 11. Thomas Jackson with the ball for Cincinnati. Jackson takes it off to his right, spins back, going all the way over to his left, gets it over high to Hill, and it's going to be a charge on Bazemore, a foul, offensive foul on Bazemore. Silly. That was that was his mo last year. A lot of offensive silly fouls. What are they discussing? Ah, uh, shot clock maybe. It's either a foul or no foul. <laughs> flagrant, Intentional. flagrant foul. They called a flagrant one now on Baysmore. Wow. Which means free throws and the ball, I believe, right? Or no, they'll, he'll he'll shoot. He'll foul shoot. First. The first one, right? And then yeah, he'll get his one-on-one, -on -one, right? I believe so, yeah. He'll shoot the technical. I think this is the technical, obviously, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It shoots that one. Now, actually, this is the foul, Tom, right? Because if it was a technical, he would have shot just one. Yeah, but if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, though, wouldn't the players have to be on the lane? Because he was shooting a one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so he makes both free throws, and they get the ball out of bounds. So that's what it was. That was yeah. just uh, the foul that he was shooting. Since okay. it was a technical, they put him behind the line. So not not a very good uh, smart play by Dwayne Bazemore. And we, that's what we were just talking about in the pregame, Tom. Yeah. So that you know that's now nine free points for Wayne. Nine out of ten from the free throw line. The first nine minutes of the game. So uh, you're you're giving him free points. 23-13, 10-47 to go here in this first half. Get the ball into number five, and that's Fields. All and he right. gets it, somehow get knocked out, and it's going to come down as Hill take it all the way. Layup is no good, nice but tipped tip. up and in by Graves. All right. And Lionel Hill went all the way down, but couldn't put it in, and Winston Graves is going to tip it up and in. And since then they put on that trap. And they get it to Duncan. Duncan gives it up now to Williams. Williams going to pull up. Cross court over to get it back now to Fields. Fields swings it over to Jackson. Jackson goes in. Might have walked. No call. Tipped up around and is no good. Bazemore with the rebound. Bazemore is going to give it up now to Thomas Jackson. Jackson coming down the other way for Cincinnati. Jackson shaking and bacon. It's going to nice. take it in. Kicks it back now to Hill. To Bazemore at the free throw line. Throws nice it a shot. shot. Good. All right. That's a one good thing that he can do, Tom, is if everybody thinks he can't shoot, he can shoot. Yeah. How about that little guy getting a basketball for him? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Shot clock back to 35, please. 35 on a shot clock. There you go. Thank you. Cincinnati up 27-13, 9.43 to go here in this first half. Coming down the other way, Cincinnati doing a very nice job putting on the pressure. And they get it into number five, and that is Fields. Fields gets double teamed. They get it over to Jackson. Jackson throws it up, up and in. Was that Jackson or was that yeah, number Parker. 14? Parker. 
Jackson coming down the other way for Cincinnati. He's going to take it all the way, lay it up, and shot, and he's going to be fouled. That's going to be two. A foul on 14. That'll be his second. So Brad Parker leading away right now for Wayne with six points. Now picks up his second foul with 9.19 to go in the first half. And Thomas Jackson 20 for 21 on the season from the free throw line. Jackson's first free throw is good. Checking back into the ball game will be number 21, and that is Kevin Marshall. Thomas is one of those guys, I don't think you could tell the difference whether it's in overtime <laughs> shooting him or, you know, right now shooting him. He just right. gets up there, it's smooth, he doesn't think about it. Absolutely. So he puts it in 29-15. Quickly coming down the other way is going to be Wayne. Get it inside to Parker. Parker kicks it back out to Fields. Fields gets it over to Duncan. Duncan oh, loses control of the basketball. Ooh, <laughs> went between the legs of Marshall. It must have touched him and goes out of bounds. Yeah, he tried to go behind the back there being double teamed. That's a risky, risky move right there. So, uh, so it'll be Wayne taking the ball out of bounds. It'll be Duncan taking it out. Duncan gets it into number 20, Williams. Williams nice shot move. up and good. Couple assists now for Sean Duncan. Cincinnati trying to get through that press. They do get it over to Grace. He's firing, ready for a three-point shot. It is no good, and it's going to be rebounded. But I believe, go oh, they said he walked. I thought, I thought uh, number 21, I thought for Cincinnati, Marshall kind of went over his back. But he caught the ball, came down, and he said he walked with it. Since they've taken the ball out of bounds. 8.42 to go since they have 29-17. Get it into Baysmore now. Squares up, picks it back out and out of Jackson. Good move. Back him down, Dwayne. Absolutely. There you Marshall's, go. Give it to him. Marshall now driving up baseline. It's going to be number 10. Shot is no good by Ivory. And now coming down the other way is going to be Wayne. Get it down low quickly. What oh, not nice good. Pitch. Parker puts it up and in. <laughs> so they were not ready for that at all. That's going to make it a 10-point ball game at 29 to 19. Thomas Jackson gives it back to Ivory. Back to Thomas Jackson. Jackson gets a screen from Baysmore. Oh, and he kicks it back. Now goes off his foot on Marshall, and there's going to be a timeout called by Wayne. Since they playing real careless down the stretch here, Tom. Yeah, just not taking care of the basketball. It's, I mean, like you said, you're, you're letting them hang around in a game where, you, I mean, they could be easily be up 30 right now. Or, I'm so, sorry, 20, not 30. It could be a bad weekend for the old Cincinnati teams here this weekend if uh, the Bengals happen to lose to the old Kansas City Chiefs tomorrow. I, they you beat the Giants, right? Yep. Nobody thought they'd beat the Giants. So I'll tell you right now, all you loyal Bengal fans out there, why I don't know, <laughs> I would definitely look for an upset this week. They got you back. They got your heart back again yep. by beating somebody they shouldn't. And now look out. Typical Marvin Lewis coach team. Absolutely. Still in the rebuilding process for the 29th year. <laughs> that is a great point. You know, most coaches that have a losing record I don't had, stick around. Yeah, I laugh because everybody wants Butch Jones fired at UC, and I'm thinking, how come nobody ever complains about Marvin Lewis? <laughs> What's he ever done? <laughs> He's done nothing. I just tell you, the, the, the fans here in Cincinnati are the most fickle fans ever, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, they want Dusty Baker fired, yeah. and he, he, he takes he him to two playoffs. 101 games in yeah. season. <laughs> And we're just spoiled, I guess. 29-19, 7.59 to go in this uh, first half. Bringing it up is going to be Fields. Gives it to Duncan. Duncan. Since they ain't that man to man. Swing it over to Williams. Williams has it. Back over to Duncan, or excuse me, Fields. Fields driving all the way in. Off balance shot. It is no good. And it is going to be rebounded by Baysmore. 
Baysmore's going to have to give the ball right, up. Come on. He does. Thomas Jackson now has it. Jackson crosses it over to Ivory, back over to Jackson. 23 in the shot clock. Man to man. Looks like they're trying to do some isolation for Jackson. Jackson crosses over, brings it up, kicks nice it over slot. to the corner to Ivory. Ivory's going to fire up a three point shot. It is no good. Follows up a shot. Another shot, it is no good. So he misses two easy shots in a row, but they outlet it. And look at this. They got numbers. Taking all the way down and slamming it home Hello. is number 20, Williams. <laughs> How about that? They cut it to an eight-point game at 29-21. And on the Cincinnati State end, Jamal Ivory miss, has missed all six of his shots from the field. And another turnover. And Gray's was driving to the basket. He got pushed a little bit, but he's going to um, – Walk with the basketball. Michael Shady. Michael Shady coming in the ball game. Michael Shady's coming in, averaging 8.8 .8 a game. And we saw him bury a few threes. I think three threes in the last game here. It looks like uh, coming also into the game will be Lionel Hill. Bringing up his price. Price gives it up to Jackson. Get it into Williams. His shot is off the front of the rim. No good. It's going to be saved by Thomas Jackson. Jackson quickly coming down the other way for Cincinnati. Going to take it right down the middle. Gives it into Baysmore. He wasn't ready for it, but running it down was Shady. Shady has it. Going to drive in. Jump stop. Kicks it over to the corner. Back over to Shady. Shady fakes a three-pointer. Drives all the way in. Oh, Try to give it into Marshall. He does, and he gets fouled. And so Marshall will be on the line. Foul's going to be on number 20. That was a good look right there by Michael Shady driving the baseline. And uh, unfortunately, the ball got tipped or it would have been right to Marshall. He would have been able to handle it a little easier. Free throw's no good. Marshall now one of three from the free throw line. Cincinnati State, five of five of nine early on, which is not a good trend. No, it's not. <laughs> I still can't get over that women's game when they had one one more point than foul in the first half. Yeah. Free throw's good by Marshall. Puts it in. It's 30 to 21 with 6.14 to go here in this first half. Coming down quickly is going to be Price, number three. He's going to get double teamed. He's trying to get out of it. And he's getting double teams. He's going to throw the ball, but he said he stepped out of bounds first. So the ball's going to go to Cincinnati. Speaking of free throws, Dan, the women's game, overall 46 for 85 between the two teams. That is not good. Not good at all. Wayne was 14 for 33. Cincinnati State, 32 of 52. Is that why you're so quiet? You're trying to add, do all that adding 20, in your no, head? No, I was trying to find the right paper <laughs> to add it on there. 20 missed free throws by Cincinnati State. 20. That ain't good. That's, I mean, that, that, is, that is not incredible. good. We, we've talked about that all the time, Tom, is shooting free throws. Oh. It's the lost art. And that I mean, obviously we, we watched the women's game last week when Pikeville came in here. And, I mean, they were right at that edge, like 20 points down. And they hit every free throw that they took, and it kept them in the game Absolutely did. for most of the game. It looks like oh, we, we thought it was Cincinnati State's ball. It looks like it was a timeout called by Wayne. And, and he's used three already. And shot was no good by number three Price. They're going to quickly outlet it. Running all the way down court. Oh, and he gets it blocked. <laughs> How about that by Jackson for Wayne? <laughs> As going up was uh, Shady, and he got it blocked. Unbelievable. Coming down the other way now, Cincinnati are going to get it to Price. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Baysmore. Baysmore is going to outlet it to Thomas Jackson. Jackson. I don't think Michael Shady had no any way. idea that that was coming. <laughs> no way. I get it. Now to Shady gets nice. it into Baysmore. Baysmore is going to power his way down. That's Throws the way shot. to go up. No good. Foul's going to be on number 22. 22. I don't have a 22. I don't have a 22 either. 23. Folks. Yeah, that was great because Baysmore, 
leaned in just enough to where the defender couldn't jump up with him, and he had to reach over the top. Baysmore, free throw good. All right, Dwayne Baysmore with eight points, five rebounds. Another good start for him. We saw him. He was like, what, eight of nine from yeah. the, other, the last time we saw him early in the first half. Free throw, no good. And it's going to be rebounded by Williams. Give it up to Price. Price crosses the timeline, going off to his left. Gets it to Jackson. Jackson, no, oh, try to throw it inside. It goes through the hands of Thomas Jackson for Cincinnati. He's going to come with it. Going down to left, he gets it in the corner. Shot is good. Nice shot by number two, and that's Lionel Hill. <coughs> That's Excuse four me. for Hill. Another Thomas steal. Thomas Jackson with the steal. And He's everywhere. A, and I believe that foul might be on 20. Yeah, it is on number 20. That'll be his second foul. When Thomas Jackson's on the floor, you better have eyes in the back of your head because he is everywhere. Duncan and Fields come back in for Monroe. Or Wayne, excuse me. Thomas Jackson will be on the line. Field goes good. I don't even think he touches the rim no. most of the time. All four of his points are from the free throw line so far. Free throws, good. Smooth. Yes, he is. 35-21, <laughs> 4.51 to go in his first half. Coming down the other way is number four, and that's Duncan. Get it down in the corner. Jack's going to drive all the way and throws up a shot. He's going to be fouled as he's going to the I basket. it's going to be Bazemore. Who's it on? Nope. On Jackson. Huh. Must have reached in before he got in the lane. That'll be Jackson's first foul. On the line will be number 24, Jackson, for Wayne. Free throw's good. Coming back in will be Nick Robertson for Cincinnati. Dwayne Baysmore will come out. Qual Jackson, four points, all from the free throw line. 10 of 11 as a team, Wayne so far from the charity stripe. Free throw, good. It's going to make it 35-23. Thomas Jackson now with the basketball for Cincinnati, putting on that double team. He gets right through it like it was so nothing. Quick. Like it was nothing, Tom. And between his legs, being guarded by Duncan. Kicks it over to Shady. Give it back to Ivory. Kicks it over now to Jackson. They got 15 on the shot clock. Jackson's going to drive all the way in, try to get oh, it down low. Nice. Not a very good pass. Quickly coming down the other way is going to be Ware. Ware spins, oh, throws charged. it off the glass, no good. Great job by but, Nick Robertson. So Robertson does a good job, and they are going to call a foul. And he did that, what, two or three times the last home game, yeah, I three. believe. <laughs> Great job to stand there and take the hit like that. Not many guys do that anymore. Defense and free throws, Tommy. Oh, and Jackson almost got it stolen. He's got to look up, man. There's people open. Jackson in between the defenders, kicks it over in the corner. Fakes a three-pointer was Hill. Hill's going to pull up, throw up a nice. shot. Good. That's six for Hill. So Lionel Hill puts it in. It's going to make it 37-23, 3.47 to go in this first half. Duncan swings it over now to his left to Fields. Gets it to Jackson. Jackson's going to drive in, up, under, and he's going to be fouled as he's going to the basket. I think it's going to be on Shady, I believe. Yeah. Yep, it's going to be on Shady. That'll be his first. So once again, Qual Jackson steps to the line. Five out of six so far. Free throw. Nope. Oh, nope. Ooh, falls in. Snuck over. It's like we're going to have number 14 checking back into the ballgame. That's Parker. And I believe for the first time was number 40, Evans.
Getting ready for a second free throw. Free throw on the way, good. Puts it in, got another substitution again. It'll be Whitehead, number 34, coming back in. So Wayne hanging around, down 12. Can't seem to break that 10-point barrier, though. They got a guy wide open underneath. Nice. It's going to be Marson, puts it up and in. Good look by Lionel Hill right there. Couple assists for him. Since they're trying to do that jump press. And getting it through it now is going to be number five. And that is Fields. Has it on the left side. Goes in between a double team. Give it up to Whitehead. Throws up a shot up and in. So Whitehead puts it up and in. Going to make it 39-27. 2.54 to go here in this first half. Dan Albers, Tom Benassi, Ronda McMillan on Anderson Community Television, USBN Sports. Jackson has over the right, and we're going to have five seconds. Wow. What? Really? I don't, I don't know about that one at all. Huh. I didn't see that. Did not see that. Coach Tate down there questioning that too as well. <laughs> 244 to go. Cincinnati up 39-27. Check it. the replay on that, Dan. Yeah, Don't no you? kidding. Fields looking for Whitehead, doesn't have it. Now he's going to give it back up to number four, Duncan. There's a shot on the way, no good, and that's re uh, by uh, Fields was no good. Coming down the other way is going to be Cincinnati. Thomas Jackson has it. Jackson's going to pull up, fire up a shot, no good. It's going to be rebounded by Duncan. I don't know if Duncan that was a in very between good two shot. defenders gives it up now and laying it up and in is number 34, and that's Whitehead. 39-29. They cut back into that lead again, so we're getting ready to go under two minutes here in this first half. Terrence Whitehead with the last four points. He was quiet the whole first half. and He's got a couple buckets in a row right now. Keep Wayne in the game. Thomas Jackson now had the basketball. Swing it over to Hill. Hill has it. Go off to his left. Going to keep going all the way to the basket. Nice. High off the glass, up and in. Good job. If he would have kept coming in any further, he might have had that rejected. Yeah, he, I'll tell you what. He's playing a really nice first half. Lionel Hill, eight points. And there's a steal by Nick Robertson. Going to give it up now to Hill. Hill oh, nice up, fade. under, puts it up and in. Good job by Lionel Hill. Had his guy go up in the air, and he just lays it up and in. And just like that, since they extend his lead back to 43-29. to Coming down the other way now quickly is Wayne. They're going to give it up to Fields. Since they that man-to-man. -man. Under one minute to go in this first half. Picks up his dribble. He's got nowhere to go. He's going to have to give it up. He does to Evans. Evans has it on a wing. Looking inside. Nothing there. Crosses it over to Duncan. Duncan fires up a three-point shot. And it is no good. And it's rebounded by Martson good job for right Cincinnati. There. Thomas Jackson quickly coming down the left side. And a cross take it all the way to the basket. And it's going to be a jump ball. He's done it a couple times, Tom. Yeah. So Jackson coming out, Lionel Hill out. Both? Oh no, he's not. I was going to say that they didn't have enough guys on the field there, on the court there. Lionel Hill coming out with ten points, leading me for Cincinnati State right now, playing very well. Since they take it to out of bounds, nice. Get it inside to Robinson, lays it up and in. I just don't understand it, how people can let guys I, like that go. That's the fifth time we've seen that tonight in the two games. So 30, 29 seconds to go since they have 45, 29. So they're just going to try to work for one shot. Since they're going to play that man-to-man, -man, they're at 19 seconds. 18 seconds. The one with the ball in his hand is going to be Fields. Fields quits it. They swing it over in the corner to Evans. He's going to fire a baseline shot. In and out, no uh -huh. good. And it's going to be rebounded by Sensei with eight seconds. Jackson spins. And he's going to throw it over now to Gray. Gray's going to drive all the way. Jump nice stop, throws it all off the glass, oh. up and in. How about that? As the time expires. Very nice. Cincinnati has a 47-29 lead at half. Pretty impressive, Tom. Yeah, no doubt about it. I'll tell you what, Lionel Hill right now, 
playing very well. Dwayne Bazemore playing very well in the minutes he had. So you give them a lot of credit. They kind of held them off. Wayne shot a lot of free throws in the first half. But, uh, you know, since they state their depth right now, and I'll tell you, Ron, Nick Robertson is what you would call the KG veteran, man. Absolutely. He may not light it up in a scoring column, but he's going to do all the little things that you need. And uh, he got that last layup, and he took a big charge down the other end. Absolutely. So Tom and I will take a break. Our halftime score is 47-29. to 29. We're back with second-half action right after this. Hi, right, everyone. I'm Dan Albers, joined with Tom and Assey. Welcome back here to the second half of our doubleheader. The Cincinnati State men are up 47-29. to 29. And, Tom, uh, it was just kind of kind of a weird weird game, too, as well as that first half. They had spurts where they played very well and spurts where they did not. Yeah, I, I think the way that the, the flow of the game went, you wouldn't think that somebody was up by 18 either way. I, I just don't think it was like a dominant performance by any means. But uh, leading the way was uh, Lionel Hill for Cincinnati State with 10, Baysmore 8, Winston Gray 7, Robertson 6, Thomas Jackson held only five. They were one for six from three-point line and 10 of 15 from the free throw line. And on the other side, Wayne, 13 out of 14 from the free throw line. Wow. I'm telling you. It's a way, well, I say keep them in the game. They're still down by 18. But, I mean, if they don't hit those free throws, this game is over. I mean, it's over, right. period. Yeah, so, it, it, it just really shows you, too, that it was a little bit closer to that. They kind of went on that little bit of a run. I think they scored, what, six points pretty quickly or four to six points and kind of blew it blew it open just a little bit. But, uh, you know, you just wonder if on down the line, not having another big man besides Bazemore is going to hurt them. Well, I think that's where Marshall and uh, Marshall and Marsden got to step up a little bit and, and prove that they can put in big minutes when Bazemore's not on the floor. I mean, it's great when they're out there with Bazemore, but when Bazemore's not in there, can they be the one to stand in there and kind of hold hold the ground for, for Cincinnati State on the inside. So we're getting ready to start a second half, and uh, Wayne is going to be taking the ball out of bounds, and they bring it in, and it's number five, and that was Fields. Give it up to Duncan. Duncan has it at the free throw line, gets it down low to Whitehead. Back to Duncan. He fires up a three-point shot. Good by Duncan. Good it, start right there. Absolutely, and that's going to cut it out of 47-32. Looks like they're going to try to put on a little bit of a press. Gray's has the basketball now. Gets it in the middle to Marshall. Marshall outlets it to Smith. He had two fouls. He didn't really get to play a lot in that first half. So Thomas Jackson now has it. Jackson got 17 on the shot clock. Gets it over now to Smith. Smith looking inside. He gets it to Bazemore. But I'll tell you what, doing a great job defensively was Jackson for Wayne. So not a good start here for Cincinnati. Fields. Give it up now to Duncan. Duncan's going to fire up another three-point shot. It is no good, and it's going to be rebounded by Jackson. Oh, excuse me, that wasn't Jackson. That was uh, Parker that got the rebound. I'm sorry. And Fields trying to set up the offense. 18.50 to go, 18 to go in this ball game. Kick it over now to another Duncan. One. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. Good. <laughs> wow. Duncan hits two three-pointers, and Tom, they've, Got right back into it here at 47-35. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they don't hang their heads at all, man. They came right back out and very aggressive. Duncan taking three three-point shots already and burying two of them. So Thomas Jackson now has it, trying to run the offense here, trying to get something going. He's going to go from his left to his right. Gets it over to Smith. Smith's going to fire, but a shot from the elbow. Shot is no good. Bazemore with Baysmore. the rebound puts it up and in. Good job. And that was big by Dwayne Bazemore. They needed something like that to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. As they put on that pressure, get it to Fields. Fields coming across over to the left side. Get it to Jackson. Get it down to Whitehead. Back to Jackson now. Swing it over to Fields. Fields dribbles in between the timeline. Brings it back out now. He's got Duncan open again. I thought he was going to shoot a three-point. He's going to be driving inside a circle. Throws no, up a shot. No good. Rebounded by Smith. Nice. Big time. <laughs> and he gives it to Jackson now. Jackson for Cincinnati coming down to left. And Jackson, what do we got here? Uh, I believe Parker. they're going to call that on Parker, number four. That'll be uh, three. His three. That's, that hurts. Brad Parker inside on Dwayne Bazemore. I think there's some hand checking going on, maybe a couple elbows, <laughs> and he finally got caught. Oh, that's a, that's a foul right there on 24. 
Uh, no. A basket Go is good. Wow. Who's the who's the foul? On? Number twenty-four. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's the foul I saw, but they're saying, "Hold on." He said the basket counted. That's what he said. What? Get the ball into Bazemore. Bazemore's going to spin, throws up a shot off the glass, no good. And they're going to call Charge. an offensive foul on Bazemore. I'm not sure what happened on this end of the floor. But it, uh, he said the basket was good. But I know the foul was when Thomas Jackson came across the lane. Uh, Qual Jackson from Wayne came out and just went Shot right him. into him, both both elbows high. But I can't believe they counted the basket. Coming across the back is Fields. Fields taking it right down the middle. Oh, and he takes Block. it all the way in. He got a shot blocked. It's going to stay here with Wayne. He kind of did that no look or like he was going to do a no look pass and kept it and got it blocked. So I'm not sure who got credit for that basket down there. The I, I'm thinking it was uh, Gray's, but I'm not positive. So not a good job there. And they're going to outlet. No. Oh, not a good pass by Thomas Jackson. He knew it right away after he let it go. Get it over to Duncan. He's going to fire up another three-point shot. It is no good. And it's going to be rebounded. I guess it's going to go to Thomas Jackson. Jackson now quickly coming down the other way for Cincinnati. And he's going to throw off his foot. Oh, and he gets hammered. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's falling on top of each other. First and ten. Thomas took a beating on that play. <laughs> so that's second, the second foul on Sean Duncan for Wayne. And Duncan already taken four three-point shots in this half. Got to take the ball out of bounds. I don't think uh, Winston Gray's knew it. Gray's going to give it back to Devontae Smith. He goes to the basket. Got nobody, hammered. No call. Nobody fouled him. Either one of those guys fouled him on that? you got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow. The next foul, Dan, I guarantee you will be a touch foul. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that, yeah, how do you not call a foul on that? Since they've taken the ball out of bounds, Jackson going to give it over to Smith. Gets it up high now to Gray's. Gray swings it over to Thomas Jackson. Jackson looking inside. Got Marshall. Marshall squares up, kicks it over to Gray's. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. Good. Wow. Nice shot by Gray. Tom, he's and got a quick release. It does, And you know what? It didn't look like he had it, that good, like he bobbled it almost. Cincinnati now up 54-35. Quickly coming down to the ways fields. Pulls up at the free throw line. Shot is no good. And Dwayne Baysmore is going to reach up and grab it. Jackson coming down the other way now. Gives over to Gray. He's going to pull up for another three-point shot. Oh, almost good. And Dwayne Bazemore, instead of putting his hands up in here, should have went after that ball. Fields quickly coming down the other way, and they're going to call something here. What do they got? Foul's going to be on Thomas Jackson. That'll be his second. Coming in will be Robinson and also number one, Shady. Thomas has been beat up here <laughs> a couple trips now. He's hit the floor pretty hard. Plus, he took that shot coming across the lane. Driving all the way in. Parker shot is up and good. So, Parker drives all the way in, puts it up and in. 54-37, 16.05 to go in this ballgame. Gray is going to take it down the middle, and he tries to throw it a bad pass. And it's going to go off of Cincinnati. It'll go to Wayne. Got to take care of the basketball, Dan. Even if you're playing a, a running style of basketball, you still you, you can't be turning the ball over as often as Cincinnati State has done it today. 54-37. Parker has it now. Swings it, they get it inside to Whitehead. Whitehead has it, brings it back out to Duncan. Duncan gets it back into nice Whitehead. Ball, hey. And good job by Nick Robertson to try to go for that. Nick's one of those guys you don't want guarding you. He's getting your face, never stops. Right. Parker gets it, try Another to get it one. down. Not a very good pass. Smith coming down the other way for Cincinnati. He's going to take it all the way to the basket. Gets oh, it rejected, on. but Robertson following it up. No foul again on that. Unbelievable. Twice that they have no calls. 
But falling back up is Nick Robertson. It's going to make it 56-37. Definitely letting him play here, Tommy. And there's no good. And coming down the other way now is going to be Winston Grays. Gives it over to Robinson. Robinson spins. Gets it down low uh -oh. to Bazemore, and he's going to slam it baby. home. And a baby. Now starting to get away from uh, Wayne just a little bit. Gets double teamed. There could have been a foul right there on Robinson. He didn't call it. And that's going to be Fields. Gets it over to Duncan in the corner for a three-point shot. It is no good. No legs. It's going to hit the top <laughs> of the backboard. So checking back in will be number 20, and that is Williams. And for Cincinnati, it'll be number 10, Ivory. Or, um, yeah, number 10 it would be Ivory. Yeah, I'm, I'm, if you're Wayne, I'm not sure you want to be running up and down the floor with Cincinnati State and the Absolutely depth that they not. have. So Shady bringing the ball up from Akron. As the ball, he's going to pull up. He carried the basketball. This will be a turnover for Cincinnati. And apparently, I mean, he's a pretty good player from what we hear. But he's just going to have to be more consistent when he's in a ball game. And it quickly, Three oh, people. nice. Oh. I mean, he, made, he got through there quick, but he just threw it way too hard was Fields. He had three Cincinnati State defenders chasing him, and still the pass was, I mean, I, I, he put it right there. I think he got to catch that ball. Winston Gray's now bringing the ball up the court. He's going to throw it to Bazemore. He's going to get it. He's going to take it oh. all the way in. Oh, and he walked with the basketball. Oh, they're oh the ba wow. you got to be call kidding me. foul? you got to be kidding me. The, wow. Not only them, I think it was a travel. We've had guys hitting the floor. Wow. And then they call that. We'll take it. Basic. Third foul on Montel Williams for Wayne. <laughs> Baysmore's shot is no good. And it's going to be rebounded by Parker. They're going to outlet it now. They get it to Fields. They quickly had a guy open. They didn't take it, but Fields is going to give it in down now. Put it up and in is going to be number 20, Williams. Too easy. 60 to 39, 13.57 to go in this ball game. Winston Grays has the basketball. Going to give it now to nice. Nick Robinson. Swings it over now to Shady. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. No. no good off the front of the rim. And it's going to be rebounded by Ware. He's going to give it up now to Fields. Fields. Charge. It in. It's going to be a charge. So good job by number one, Shady, doing a great job. And that's going to be on Fields. Yeah, give him a lot of credit right there. Michael's not the biggest guy out there, and he stood in there and took the hit. Great play right there. Robinson's going to come out. Baysmore's going to come out. Looks like uh, Smith and Marshall checking back in. I think he's still trying to figure out some rotation that he wants to do here. You can tell. Yeah, and I mean, you, once you throw Cody Martin back in the mix, you oh, know yeah. he's getting some time because he's, he's one of the sophomores. Shady's going to give it up to Smith. Smith has got to look up. Crosses it over, brings up with a left hand, throws up. up a shot, goes in. No, no basket. basket. No basket. Oh, oh, they're going to call a charge on him. Wow. Yeah, right there, Dan, you called it. You got to look up and get the ball to the middle of the floor right there. He had two guys, one on the other wing and one in the middle coming down with him if he would have just looked up. 60-39, 13-31 to go. Dan Albers, Tom and Nancy, Rhonda mm. McMillan here at Cincinnati State. And he carried the ball and he walked and no call and it's going to go out of bounds. So He felt bad, so he threw yeah. it away. <laughs> Checking into the ball game, who had a pretty decent uh, first half there was Lionel Hill. Yeah, right now he was the leading scorer at halftime between both teams. And now uh, Dwayne Bazemore with 14 for Cincinnati State. Ooh, not almost a... Scary pass there. Shea's going to take it all the way and throws it up. He gets fouled, almost slamming it at home. Was Smith, but we're going to have uh -oh, a foul. That, that's going to be four if it's Parker. It is. 14. That's four on Brad Parker for Wayne. He'll have to sit. Maybe. Yep. <clears throat> and free throw is no good. good. We're going to have Martson checking back into the ballgame for Cincinnati. 
Shady hasn't scored yet. There you yeah, go. Free throw's good. Puts it up and in. 61-39. Trap. So good trap. A lot of trap. Got good. nowhere to go with it. He's going to have to hurry up. He gets it. Oh, almost. I don't know if they're going to get it across. Wow, they barely <laughs> just made it across. They're going to alley-oop it, and it's no good. Goes through the hands. Shady quickly coming down for Cincinnati. Nope. And not a good pass yeah. at all, Tom. And that has got to be frustrating. Quickly coming down court is the other way is where. Going to lay it up foul. and get fouled. And Shady's going to get the foul. So Shady turns the ball over on one end, and then he commits a foul when the guy's got a layup on the other end. So he's not going to be in long, I don't believe. Just too many unforced play. I mean, there's no reason to, to even make that play. I it just. Mm. <clears throat> so free throws put up and good. So that helps them to get back into 20 at 20 at 61 41. And Thomas Jackson is back into the ballgame running the point. He sat down for just a little bit. Ivory has it. Ivory trying to get that screen from Marshall. He does. Ivory's going to take it all the way to the hole and lose control of the basket. Throws it up. That's what happened, Tommy. Yeah. He's going up and lost control of it. So shot did not look very good. <coughs> Fields has it. Throws no, it down. Another too hard. bad throw. Man, it he throws he... it too hard. <laughs> Boy, that one would have knocked him silly if it would have hit him in the head. Luckily, nobody was walking behind the basket yeah, no right kidding. there. Going to be another turnover again for <coughs> Wayne. And Jackson has the basketball now. Gets double teamed. Then he throws it down into Ivory. Ivory has it in the corner. Brings it back out. Getting double teamed. He better watch it. Fights through it. Gets it in to nice Martin. He does a left-handed shot right. up and good. That was nice a nice play. move by him. Did a real good job of pinning his guy right there. And he oh. blocks it. How about that? So Martin does two back-to-back -back good jobs. And Ivy has it now. He's going to pull up That's under, fake. throws up a shot, no good. Martin tips it up, gets the rebound, and he gets it rejected. And then going up again was number 21, Marshall. But I tell you what, that's some good minutes there early for Marston. I was thinking Marston might should take the charge, but, man, if you can block it, go ahead. Since they taking the ball out of bounds. Get it to Hill. Hill gets it inside to oh. ooh, <laughs> almost a dunk by Marshall come flying in. And it's going to hit all high up the back of the rim, and it goes out of bounds. <laughs> almost got that one. 63-42, 11 47 to go in this ballgame since they stayed up on Wayne Community College out of Detroit. It's like he's carrying a ball, Tom. And there's a steal by Martin, almost a steal by Martin. And oh, there's a foul, and they yeah. should have caught it a long time ago. Ah. Foul is going to be on Cincinnati, and the basket is good by Falks. Goodness, goodness, goodness. So it's going to be on Marshall. Yeah, they got it under 20. I mean, let them hang around long enough, they start believing. And oh. passes off the front of the rim, no good. Thomas Jackson with the rebound. <clears throat> Jackson going to give it up now to Hill. Hill back out to Jackson now. Run some clock off. Jackson's going to kick it out now. Three-pointer on the way by oh. Ivy. He's not good at all and Goodness. trying to save it. And Cincinnati almost steals it. Martin goes down for the ball on the ground, and there it is with Ivy. Ivy has it. Get it to Jackson. Jackson in between the circles, jump stop, kicks it over in the corner, Hill. Three-point attempt, good. Yeah. All right. And that's going to be a timeout by Ooh. Cincinnati. Yeah, and I can pretty much guarantee you that Michael Shady is coming in for Ivory. Not uh, liking the body language by Thomas Jackson right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's hurt. I think he's hurt. I think he keeps holding his back like that, but Jamal Ivory now <laughs> is 0 for 9 from the field. <laughs> oh, wow. And, that, you know, to take that three right there, 
You know, it's like just run the offense, get an easy shot. Right. Tell you what, I'm, I'm liking the play of Martin so far. He hasn't played much today, but he's given him some good quality minutes. Yeah, and that's that's a good thing that'll come out of this is both Marshall and Marsden are getting some good minutes with Bazemore sitting for a while and, and uh, hopefully get their confidence level up. Bringing the ball up. Now they're going to give it down to Duncan. Man, Duncan. they've been right on that 25. Oh, you're not kidding. Oh, and there's going to be a foul. And that's going to be, I believe, on Martinson. Got the ball down low to Falks. Only the second free throw taken by Wayne in the second half. They were 14, 13 out of 14 in the first half. It was off the front, no good. He almost he almost airballed the other one too. Second free throw attempt by Fox on the way and is no good. So he missed both free throws and Marshall with the rebound for Cincinnati. Get it now to Thomas Jackson. He's getting double teamed. Oh. Spins out of it. Got lucky doing that. Fights all the way between. Gets it up to Martin. Martin's going to fight it. Oh, it no. Good job by Martin. Oh. Hanging in the air, doing a great job. <laughs> I know we sit up higher than these other guys, so you could see that pass coming yeah. from where we were. And Marsden with a lot of contact and still lays it in. So how about that by Marsden? Just playing very, very well here. Free throw's nice. good. So Cincinnati up now, 69-44, 10-20 to go in this. Oh, almost <laughs> stolen by Marshall, and it's going to be Duncan. Going to give it up to Jackson. His shot is no good. Tipped up, it is not good. Jackson gets it, throws it down low, but it's going to go out of bounds. Excuse me, I keep saying Jackson, it's Williams. Baysmore is going to check into the ball game. <coughs> I think Cincinnati State has seven or eight lefties on their roster. Baysmore, yeah. Marsden, Jackson. Hill. Hill. Is Shady left? I haven't seen. I don't, I don't think so. Get it now to Marsden. Gets it up now to Shady. Shady coming right down. No. Pulls up. Throws up a shot off the side of the rim. No good. Marsden, Marsden with the rebound again. Yeah. And he kicks it out. Ah. Gets it to Thomas Jackson. Jackson shaking and baking in between the circles. Nice Throws it to Martin. Martin's going to take it all the way in. <laughs> Left-handed shot up and good. How about that pass from Thomas Jackson? But more importantly, I'll tell you what, Marsden is very impressive today. Yeah, he's playing very well. Very well. 71 to 44 is our score here. Cincinnati is starting to run away with this. Yeah, Marsden with uh, nine points, four of six from the field. Foul's going to be on Baysmore. That'll be three on Dwayne Baysmore, leading scorer for Cincinnati State. But yeah, Marsden, no question, his confidence level's got to be climbing every time, every time he makes a bucket. But for Jackson to see him oh, from know. where he was is amazing. Free throws, no good. They've missed a lot of free throws. Marsden with the rebound again. Thomas Jackson now coming down for Cincinnati. How quick he does. Gets right down the middle. Loose control of the basketball. And he steals it back. How about that? Thomas Jackson in between the defenders. Takes it all the way up under to Marsden. Oh, and he missed the layup. <laughs> Easiest one he's had. And coming down the other way now is going to be Duncan. Duncan kicks it over to Price. Back to Duncan. Duncan fires up a three-pointer. In and out, no good. And running it down is going to be number two, Hill. Coming down is Thomas Jackson. Jackson swings it over to Lionel Hill, uh -oh. but what do we got? Uh-oh, he's done. Number 14, Parker, is going to be done. I think him and Baysmore are going at it. So Brad Parker fouls out of the game with 10 points for Wayne. First guy out of the game. I like your little highlighter he there, got, Tommy. He, yeah, he just got the yellow line. That's, just, that's pretty neat, that little highlighter you got going on there. So Gray's checking in and also Smith. Yeah. 
So on the line will be Bazemore. Bazemore leading away with 14 points right now. Two for four from the free throw line. Came in averaging 13.7. And Bazemore puts it up and in. Good job. Bazemore ready for a second shot. You know who uh, Grace kind of reminds me of a little bit? But uh, even he's right-handed instead of left-handed. It's Millen. Oh, yeah. James. Yeah. Good old Free James. throw's good. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen anything on uh, who's the big man at James uh, Madison. Goins. Goins. They got smoked the other night. Did they? <laughs> Did Badly. They really? Throw in the middle to break the press. Coming down to get it inside. Pump fakes. Gets a shot foul. blocked, but they're going to call a foul. Yeah. Fox was the one that had the ball, and he had a good pass in from number 40, Evans. Fortunately, right now, Wayne's having trouble making a free throw, so <clears throat> pretty much academic at this point anyway. Free throw, good. Martin is going to come out. He did a great job. Yeah, really good minutes from him. He, the, the easiest shot he had all night was the one he missed. But, yeah, really good job. I got him for six or seven rebounds. So that on top of his nine points, very good night for him. Free throw is good. 73-46. Shady now has it. Gives it up. Smith now is going to take it all the way to the basket. Ah. And he got it knocked out of his hands. He was going to take it to the hole no matter what, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. And, and Robertson was standing on the other side of the lane. I don't know if he could have gotten the pass through, but he's got to start looking up a little bit. Give it in now to Marshall. Cutting to the nice. basket of Smith. Oh. His shot was no good. And a little intimidation there by <laughs> Falks. Coming down is going to be Duncan. Duncan gets it in the corner to Evans. Evans. Looking inside, nothing there. He finally does give it inside to Falks. His shot is up and good by Falks. Gray is going to give it up now to Shady. Shady coming off to the right, coming back over to his left. And he got hammered as he was throwing the ball. <laughs> it's going to be on Qual. Michael Shady to the line. He's one of two. His only point of the game. And for Wayne, Deontay Folks, six points in the second half, did not score in the first half. Wow. There it is. Shady puts his first free throw in. So at some point, Cincinnati State adds O'Brien Hobbs. Yeah. And uh, Cody Martin Ooh. to the mix. Should help they, a little. And they get that much deeper. <laughs> yeah. So free throw was no good. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Cincinnati. It'll be Wayne's basketball. Wayne taking it out. Get it in now to Evans. Evans is going to give it up to Jackson. Jackson's going to take it all the way to the basket. And he's going to get fouled by number 21, Marshall, as he's going to the hole. Now all of a sudden we're getting foul happy here. Yeah. Call Jackson. He hit uh, seven out of eight from the free throw line. His only points of the game, all in the first half. Free throw's good. <clears throat> Next free throw on the way by Jackson. It's good. So he makes both free throws, and it's like we're going to have a substitution. It's going to be Thomas Jackson in for Shady. Robinson taking the ball out of bounds. He's going to have to hurry up and get it in. And he gets it in to Marshall. Flips Ooh. it back to Jackson. That was very lucky. 
Jackson <laughs> underneath, good job, and he gets fouled as Smith. And Jackson, I just tell you, is a great distributor of the basketball. Yeah, he is. And like you said, Tommy, he keeps holding his back. Yeah. I'm telling you, he got pounded. The Qual Jackson hit him pretty hard when he came across the lane that one time. Smith. <clears throat> Shot is good. Devontae with five points. He had four early, very early, in the first minute or two of the game and hadn't scored since. Misses his next free throw. Ball go out of bounds. It'll go to Wayne. Get the ball in. I thought this might be a little bit more of a closer game, to be honest with you, Tommy. Yeah, since they stayed, just, uh, they jumped on that early lead, 23-9, to nine, and it just never really a nice up and to under. anything. Nice up and under by Jackson. It's going to make it 75-52, 7.37 to go in this ball game. Braves gets in the middle to Robinson. Robinson all the way down to Marshall. Gray's nice pass into nice Robinson. Look. Gets it down low to Smith. Smith's nice going to put it up and in. Good unselfish play by Cincinnati. And quickly coming down the other way is going to be Duncan. Left-handed shot is no good. Nick Robinson with the rebound. Going to give it up now to Gray's. Gray's going to come right down the middle. Kicks it back out to Jackson. Jackson going to drive in. Jump stop. Gets it down low. Nice pass into Devontae Smith. <laughs> What a heck of a pass by Thomas Jackson. He's got to have probably close to 10 assists in this game. Absolutely. And, he, you know, it's it's neat because we, we know he can score. I mean, we, there's no doubt about it after seeing him last year. And he just, it's not a concern. He's more willing to give the ball up right now than trying to get 30 points. Absolutely. God, shaking and baking, take it all the way to the basket is Where number 24 is Jackson. We're going to have a timeout called by Wayne. 79-54, 646 to go in this ballgame. Two, two trips in a row, Paul Jackson, he didn't have a field goal in the first half. It's all free throws. And now all of a sudden he's taking it to the basket. Okay, we're going to be here on uh, Monday night, and Cincinnati will be taking on ABCD prep, <laughs> and hopefully they will show up. I believe last year they did not. <laughs> yeah, and then they'll they'll be off to uh, Michigan for the Delta College Invitational, and then uh, they'll come home for three games, and they'll go right back up to Michigan to play Wayne, and then they will make a trip to East Peoria, Illinois, with the women's team for a big tournament there. So, and then you're you're looking at uh, league league play starting after that second week of January. That's so. a, yeah, it's just amazing that the women will not have a home game up until or until after the the holidays, as we said, or J uh, January eighth. Yeah, these tournaments are. <laughs> I mean, there's no question. You you pretty much know what you're going to get by the time all these tournaments are done because. Both teams are playing some pretty good competition in a lot of these out-of-town tournaments. So instead of playing at home, you know, having having all these extra home games and winning by 40 or 50, right. go on the road and, and uh, take any challenge that's out there for them. So they say taking the ball out of bounds. Robinson is going to have to hurry up and get it in. He gets it into Jackson. Back to Robertson. All the way down to Marshall. He's got a guy wide open, and that's Smith going to take it in. He gets oh. it blocked by wow. number 23, Falks, but I thought it was a block. I, They're going to call I it a foul. I agree. I thought that was clean. Wow. Third foul on Folks. Free throw in and out, no good. He's missed a couple in a row here. He's been a recipient of some very good passes here in the last couple minutes. And free throws good. 80-54, 6.40 to go in this ballgame since they stayed up big on Wayne. Dan Albers, Tom Anassi, and Rondell McMillan here on Anderson Community Television and USBN Sports. Bringing the ball over now is Duncan. Duncan has it at the top since saying that man-to-man. 
Swing it over to Price. Price has it on the wing, and they're going to call a hold on Robertson, I believe. Yep. Yep. First foul for Nick. So it'll be shooting two shots here. So folks, all of a sudden, or is this Jackson? This is Jackson, isn't it? Uh, Call Jackson, yeah. Yep. And all of a sudden, Qual's been the man. Free throw, good. Man, man. 10 of 11 from the free throw line. That's pretty for impressive. Qual. <laughs> 14 points. Pretty impressive. <clears throat> Checking back into the ballgame will be number 30, Flowers, for Wayne. Free throw's good. Get the ball into Thomas Jackson. Over to Grays. Grays gives it back to Thomas Jackson. It's going to come right down the middle. Take it all the way in and gets a nice pass into Devontae Smith. I'm telling you what, Thomas Jackson is unbelievable. Quickly coming down the other way now is Wayne. He lost control of the basketball. And Winston Gray is going to come up with it and give it to Thomas Jackson behind his back. Going to take it down the middle. He's going to give it a nice pass into Marshall. He's going to get fouled. I, Tom, he's, he's pretty impressive. Yeah, he's putting on a show right now with his passing. I mean, I mean he's team more – He's more happy about making an assist than he is about scoring. His teammates got to be just loving it. You got to be looking at him the minute you cross half court if you want to score because he'll find you. Free throws, no good off the front of the rim. Count Evans, Evans checking in and Duncan checking back mm -hmm. into the ball game. Marshall only two points on tonight, both from the free throw line. Free throw on the good, good. Coming down the other way now quickly is going to be Evans. Evans dunking over to Price. His three-pointer is good. 83-59, 5.40 to go. Thomas Jackson picks it up, gives it to Robinson. Over now to Marshall. Over to Robinson. Robinson's going to drive, spin, and throws a bad pass to Smith. Sure, that's not what coach wants when you're up 83-59. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it was almost like a rush possession, and there's no reason to rush, that's for sure. For Wayne, I believe that last field goal, Daniel Price, he had the first two points of this game, <laughs> and that's he hasn't scored until just this, that last trip down. And there is Price with the basketball. Ball on the wing by Duncan. Duncan's going to get it in low to Folks. Folks' shot is no good. It's going to be rebounded by Grays. Grays coming down the middle. Going to kick it inside to Marshall. Marshall goes on the opposite side. He's going to end up. It's going to be by Duncan. And he's going to be a foul on Smith. Almost a push. Drop something. Was that your. Uh... Oh, my lid. I lost my lid, Dan. That's not good. You can't be losing the lid to your pen. Coming in will be uh, Marston. Can you can you get that? I got that. All is good now. Marston does check back into the ball game. <laughs> My daughter down here dancing. I think she was doing a UC thing. She can't <laughs> do that today. <laughs> I think she Jamie, saw. Jamie, you dance like your mom. I think she saw Kilpatrick in the house, so she wanted to do the <laughs> UC thing for him. Checking back in for Cincinnati will be number two, Hill. <laughs> Watching Jamie down here. <laughs> and free throw's good. So Duncan puts it up and in, 83-61, 4.51 to go in this ball game. Thomas Jackson will be bringing the ball again. They're still put on pressure. Get in the middle to Robinson. Robinson's going to give it over now to Martin. Oh. Martin's going to give it back now. Hill drives in, gives it into Martin. Martin up, under, puts nice. it up and in. How about that by Martin? He is very impressive, young man. 
85-61, since they still put on a lot of pressure. Coming across, they get it over to Evans. Evans going to cross court over to Duncan. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. Good. Duncan's uh, really the only one that's really been doing anything. And there's going to be foul called on Duncan. <laughs> Maybe four fouls on Sean Duncan. So Jackson will be on the line. I don't think he has a lot. He hasn't had a big day on as far no, as scoring. He's, a, he's only got uh, five free throws, no field goals. Free throw on the way. Good. Automatic. God. <laughs> Gotta love a point guard that Automatic. can distribute the basketball and also make free throws. Yeah, give our guard the guard uh, tandem here. They've done a great job of getting the big guys the ball in positions where they can score easily tonight. Devontae Smith had three or four layups because of that, and same with Marsden. So the big guys ought to be taking the guards out to dinner tonight. Absolutely. Shady will come in now, and I believe that Thomas Jackson's night might be over. And there's Duncan with the basketball since they still put on a lot of pressure. And Price has the basketball. Give it a remember now to Duncan. Duncan coming off. He's going to go ahead and fire up a three-point shot. It is no good. Push off got, by Gray. Yeah, they did not call it. He's coming down the whole side. Oh, in between two defenders, losing control of the basketball. <laughs> really, really sloppy. Yeah, there's they, – once, uh -oh, uh -oh. once again, the problem is uh, there's no real reason to rush. I mean, I could see rushing to get it over half court just to get make the other team get back on defense, but – there's no reason to rush right. and try and get a, a quick score. So we're down to 3.49 to go in this ballgame, 87-64. Got a couple substitutions checking in for uh, Wayne. So Sean Duncan coming out maybe for the last time, and he ends the night with uh, 14 for Wayne. It's like, what do we got going on here? push. It's going to be on Evans. I believe that's his first. Lionel Hill, he's been quiet the second half. He had 10 at halftime. Hit a three-pointer earlier. Free throw on the way. No good. 87-64, 345 to go here at Cincinnati State. As you can see on the uh, video there by Rhonda McMillan, what a great gym this has become. New lighting, new sound system, new floor. Free throws put up and in. 88-64. So all just academic here, just letting the clock run down for Cincinnati. They're gonna have their fifth victory in a row. And running it down, and just really sloppy play right now. Basket is no good, almost tipped in, and they can't tip it around. And bringing it back up and in is going to be number 23. And that is Falks that puts it up and in. 20-point lead for Cincinnati here, 88-66. Grays has it. He just really need to slow everything down here. Hill's going to take it all the way, and it's going to be a charge. I would imagine. Yep. Uh, just silly, silly, silly. That's the only bad thing about having a big lead, Dan. You get, you, you, you get plays that you won't normally make in a game, and unfortunately, you don't want to get in the habit of making them. Right. And that's going to be five seconds, so they'll Jeez, I, I turn the ball. I don't know if we saw that last year. We've yeah, we've it, already what, seen it three or four times five, today. Five, isn't it? Three. Yeah, we saw a lot yeah. in, the, in the girls' game. Are they just being quicker on the counter? Is it better defense I don't, I don't or just? No. So since they takes the ball out of bounds, maybe they changed the way they count. Kind of like Get a shot clock thing. Martin's going to take it in off the glass. No good, but I like the aggressive move by Martin. Quickly coming down the way is Price. Get it back now. Price has it in the corner. Looking inside, nothing there. 
And that is Ware. Ware back over to Price. 22 on the shot clock. Price. Got nowhere to go. He's going to give it up now to Ware. Ware has it. Gets mm. it down low. Nice pass up under yeah. on the opposite side. Putting it up and in is going to be number 30. And that's Flowers. Really haven't heard a lot out of him today. 88-68. 2.26 to go. Shady fakes a three-point. Oh, charge in. again. That's going to be a block. So Shady will be on the line shooting two. Shady free throw is good. She got three points all on free throws tonight for wow. Michael Shady. Shady ready for a second free throw. Good. 90 to 68. 220 to go in this ballgame. They quickly throw a pass down, and running it down in the corner is going to be Price. And are we going to call a foul? They're going to call a timeout. Seriously. They called a timeout. Wayne is there down 90 to 68 as the ball was going down in the corner. <laughs> oh, another good win for Cincinnati State. Absolutely. Coach Tate go into the holidays on a high. Get ready for their get ready for their next run through their uh, December schedule. Hopefully, get Cody Martin back. It's just hard to believe that basketball that uh, basketball season is uh, pretty much already here. Football season coming down to an end. Unfortunately for us, it's uh, coming down to a disappointing end. Yeah, I thought uh, next week's South Florida game would really mean a lot, but unfortunately they did nothing today <laughs> at all, losing 10 to, or no, what was 10 it? To 10 three. to 3. Three points. So I'm not sure uh, how Brandon Kay has helped the offense. Yeah. I know it's not one guy. But, but it's, just, it's just very glaring that that the quarterback play is not where it should be. Yeah, I think, you know, even I, I was talking to your dad the other day. Can you imagine when Brian Kelly gets a quarterback that he, you know, his mold. I mean, not that the one they have now isn't bad, but, yeah. man, if he gets, they're going to be tough. They're already tough. But that's same with Butch Jones. He needs to get his guy in there, I guess, and. Well, but if you I, think about it, I mean, the only guy, he did get Munchie, but I think that it was a late signing right. getting Munchie to go in because he was named the coach, and he and Munchie wasn't signed, so he kind of got him late, and he really hasn't had, you know, from what I hear, they've got uh, some good kids that are that have been redshirted yeah, that were got, from Florida. So. they got two redshirt ones sitting on the bench, you know. So hopefully, hopefully one of them's going to pan out and, and just kind of take over that job next year and, not leave much doubt. I don't know, but we'll see. And, uh, you know, we do, I know everything is aired on uh, Anderson Community Television, so I think we both want to congratulate Coach Stoll over there at Turpin. Oh, absolutely. On a, once again, another, another very good year for Turpin football, and he has done incredible things over there, and you never heard about their football program until he got there, and now it's seven straight years into the playoffs for the Spartans. So they got a lot to uh, lot to be happy about over there yeah. at Turpin. And Rob, just a great guy, a great football player, and was fortunate to play with Rob. And, uh, yeah, he's done a, a tremendous job at Turpin, and they really got to be happy with, with what they've done, you know. And losing to Troutwood Madison is not – you know, they were the defend, defending state champs, I believe, and uh, they're just a very good team and just ran into a team that was much better than them last night. Well, I think Trotwood Madison had five guys move on to Division I yeah. teams, and I believe that they had six prospects this year right, absolutely. for Division I again. And you're talking about a Division II program. program yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Cincinnati's up 90-69. to 69. We're just going under two minutes and a nice. three-pointer by Gray's. 
Puts it in, and it's going to make it 93-69 with 1.54 to go in this ball game. So Gray's now with 13. Get it up high now. Fields. Looking inside, nothing there. Get it down low. Gets it blocked by Martson. And Robinson with the rebound coming down the other way now. It's going to be Shady. Shady gets it down in the corner. Get it back to Grace. He's going to fire up another three-point shot. It is no good. And getting the rebound is Martin. He puts it up and in. How about that? So Martin now 13 points. Breakout game, hopefully, for him. And this will give him the confidence to kind of start being right there with Baysmore in the middle and no one-two punch. So Martin does a great job tonight here. 95-69. 106 to go in this ballgame. Getting ready to actually go under one minute. And we are under one minute to go. They got 11 10 on the shot clock. Seven on the shot clock. Six, five. They're going to shoot a shot is good. Wow. Putting it in is number 20, Williams. Get it now to Gray. Is Gray's going to take it? Give it up to Shady. All he's got to do is wonder why you're taking it to the basket. Waste <laughs> some time. Shot is no good. Martin with the rebound. Gets oh, it rejected, nice block. But he's going to put it up again. They're going to call jump ball. Possession is going to stay here with Cincinnati. I'll tell you what, Martin, I, I'm very, very impressed with him. Yeah, he's had a very, really good game. He's 5 for 8 from the field. He's got close to 10 rebounds. So I, I think, you know, th this could definitely be one of those games that puts him over the top. And, Gives him the confidence to have a really strong season. 35, Gray's going to take it, pull up, throws up a shot off the back of the rim, no good. Spin around, they're going to get it all the way up, taking it up, it's going to be Williams, lays it up and in. 24 seconds to go in this ballgame, Cincinnati up 95-73. So good game for Cincinnati State, and you had five in double figures led by Dwayne Baysmore with 16. Krishan Marsden, 13, Winston Grays, 13, Lionel Hill, 14, and Devontae Smith, 12. So and that'll be it as we're running down three, minute, three seconds, so that's it. So Cincinnati State comes up with their fifth victory of the year on only two defeats as they win here big, 95-73. to 73. So just, uh, Tom, just a, a good game. It was good to see some guys, like we were saying, with Martin, some other guys. We haven't seen perform really well. Yeah, and I think, you know, huge first half by Lionel Hill as your two guard. Thomas Jackson, unbelievable. I probably had 10 or 11 assists, maybe more. And, uh, you know, five guys in double figures. Plus, you you don't have Cody Martin and you don't have Tyler Fischel and you don't have uh, O'Brien oh, Hobbs. Hobbs. Yeah, so, so I mean, it, things are, are definitely looking pretty darn good for the Cincinnati State men's program. On having a big year. Absolutely. So the men and the women both come out with a win, and Tom and I will be back here on Monday night against ABCD Prep. So just been a good day here all around. So for Rondell McMillian, Dan Albers, and Tom Bonassi, you've been listening to Cincinnati State Basketball on USBN Sports and Anderson Community Television. Good night, everybody.